Welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we would like to discuss how to avoid slippage during rheological testing. When performing viscosity measurement on samples like concentrated emulsions, suspensions, or soft gels, wall slip is often observed. Wall slip could either be caused due to surface wetting or wall depletion. When wall slip occurs, it shows the measured viscosity lower than the actual viscosity of the sample. Wall slip can also create an artifact lower yield stress. In order to avoid slippage during viscosity testing, TA instruments provide to our users with some rough and surface parallel plate geometries. This sandblasted plate is good for testing soft gel-like samples, such as hand lotion, shampoo, or mayonnaise. The cross-hatched plate has even rougher surface texture. It is good for testing thick, paste-like samples, such as toothpaste or cement slurries. In addition to rough and surface parallel plates, the concentric cylinder with a grooved cup and a vein-shaped rotor also proved to be effective in avoiding wall slip during viscosity testing. In this tech tip, we have discussed several solutions on how to avoid slippage during rheological testing. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips, and thank you for your interest.